for your word. Lord, we thank you for what you're doing in our life. We thank you for what you're doing in, in this ministry. Lord, we thank you for what you're doing in this city. Lord, we thank you for the anointing that you're pouring out. That anointing that breaks yokes, destroys burdens. Lord, you are so amazing. Father, we worship you. We thank you for Jesus. For redeeming us to you by his precious blood. Come on, can you thank him for Jesus real quick? Lord, thank you for Jesus. Thank you for saving me. Come on, tell thank you for saving me. Thank you for rescuing me. Thank you for not leaving me orphan. You are father to the fathers. The mender of the broken heart. Oh, we praise you and thank you. In Jesus' name, and everybody said, Amen. Amen. Greet someone around you. Let them know it's good to see them in the house of God. And then you may be seated. Find somebody you don't know. Find somebody you don't know. Greet them. Hallelujah. 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 Isn't God good? You may be seated. As you uh, get your Bible and your, your notes out, tell me to take notes on. You can open your Bible to Revelation chapter 19. <coughs> As you go there, I just want to share something I heard. There was this uh, man, and he wanted to get close to God. So he went up to this high, high mountain to pray. And he got, as he got up there, he began to worship and, and, and praise God. And uh, the Spirit of the Lord fell on that place, on that mountaintop. And he, God told him, ask me anything. He said, all right, Lord. He said, I know, he said, I know uh, uh, a day can be like a thousand years to you. He said, so, uh, uh, he said, what is a minute like to you? I said, well, the Lord sat there for a minute and thought, and he said, well, a minute is like a, like a million years. And he's like, okay. And he said, I know that all the Bible says all the silver is yours, the gold is yours. He said, what's, what's a million dollars like to you? And the Lord thought about it for a minute. He said, oh, a million dollars is like a penny to me. And so the man sat there a little bit and he said, Lord, can I have a penny? And the Lord looked back and said, in a minute. Open your Bible. You got Revelation 19? You got Revelation 19? Uh, let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him for the marriage of the Lamb is come and his wife had made herself ready. Now, uh, go to verse 9. And he said unto me, Right, blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said unto me, These are the true saints of God. Now, one thing that's just been in my heart, been in my spirit, is I've been uh, worshiping uh, as they did, in, as they do in heaven. If you go to the book of Revelation, you see uh, the things that they say and the things that they do as they worship God. And... When, this, when I got to this, the Spirit of God just stopped me and He said, You know He's talking about you, don't you? Tell you, I don't know if you know this, but if you're saved, you're the bride of Christ. Now, and, 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 and so He says, Blessed are they which are called to the marriage supper of the Lamb. Not only were you called to the marriage supper of the Lamb, but you're part of the whole ceremony. And then he said, uh, for the bride, uh, uh, which is, uh, uh, verse 9, no, but back to verse uh, uh, 7. He said, the marriage of the Lamb has come. His wife has made herself ready. Jesus. Now, uh, not talking about gender, but we're, we're the bride of Christ. And as I kept meditating this and kept thinking about it, I mean, the Lord just pressed in me and, and, and I was humble that God 
the Father would consider me worthy as a bride of Christ to marry, to be joined, to be one with His Son. I don't know if some of you get that yet, but tell your neighbor, God chose you. God said yes to you. And so, and so, and, and, and so the Spirit of the Lord just kept ministering to me about this. And he said, he said, uh, uh, as he was showing me really how blessed I am to be one with his son. Amen. I don't know if you know how blessed you are to be one with His Son. I said, I don't know how blessed you, you, you really are to be able to be called one with His Son. Amen. That this King of Kings, that this Lord of Lords, that this Creator of everything will, 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 will not only let you get the family. Amen. And as I was thinking about that, and, and, and I told myself, I said self. <laughs> myself said, hmm. <laughs> in, 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 in the world's terms, I'm the lucky one. You know, oh, you're so, you know, a lot of people always tell my wife, you're so lucky to be married to him. <laughs> no, they don't tell you, okay, never mind. They don't tell her that. Well, I guess in my mind, I, I, I'm just kidding. Maybe. It's a joke. Maybe a bad one. Tim, never come on laugh, that's funny. Man, it lighten up. I must be butter, I'm on a roll. Anyway. <laughs> You just got it? <laughs> and, and I'm the blessed one. You and I are the blessed ones Amen. to be able to come into this family. Amen. What kind of a bride would I be? This family that is a, come on, you know, I mean, this family is a, let, let's be real, how many of us have uh, a, a, a pavement of gold? And it, you're not right now, you don't. Huh? This family has pavements of gold. One gate made from one solid pearl. It's easy for me to say this family I married into is above me. <laughs> Why would I not? Want to learn this family's ways. Amen. Follow this family's ways of doing things. Amen. Follow this family's ways of, 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 of living. So that I could honor the family name. Yes. Okay. Let's wow. Yeah. Wow. Wow. And see, he ain't judging, but... He, I, you, you, do you see what I'm saying? He said, look, this is how we roll. Are you, are you want to get this still flying over something? Okay, let's, let's move on. And so one thing I've, I've learned through the Word of God. Oh, if you need a title for today, tonight, to, today is God can still display His glory. In your situation. God can still display His glory in your situation. Now, what's His glory? All that God, God is. All that God has and all that God can do. And it's not smoke. Amen. It's all that God is. He said, he, uh, His goodness. Uh, Moses said, Lord, show me your glory. He said, all my goodness, not all my smoke is going to pass before you. He said, all my goodness. He said, my goodness shall pass before thee. Amen. All right. Hallelujah. I'm excited. So, uh, as we've been talking about uh, connection, and, and we're going to talk also about Ruth, because I've never seen connection really when I the way I did uh, when I when I when I started studying this and I heard this uh, uh, Ruth and the power of connection now uh, write this down as I was in my office praying 
One thing the Spirit of God told me, said, in order, see, because there's a favor you get when you get saved. You know that, right? And favor surrounds me like a shield. Come on, say that. Favor surrounds me like a shield. But then, but then, but then God said, God said, uh, you can multiply favor. Favor can be multiplied. I don't know if you ever read in the book of Proverbs. He said, favor can be multiplied. And then, and then Jesus, the Bible said that he grew in favor with God and man. And man. So there's a that you and I can walk in. But one thing the Spirit of God showed me was that in order for that favor to transfer, there's got to be favor on that person or on that place. Because how can I transfer favor to you if I don't have no favor on me? How? You'll see in a minute. We'll see in a minute. Let me just, let me just give you that case I forget because that's not in my notes. So we're going to look at the book of Ruth. Go to the book of Ruth. Uh, I think it's right before 1 Samuel. Right after Judges, right in between Judges and, and Samuel, and, and we're going to look, we're going to look at this. Uh, because I mean, God has, God has a government, a system set up, and, 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 and you can't go around it. You and I can't go around it. Uh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Did I say Ruth? Yes, sir. Let, let's go ahead and... I'm not going to read a lot from chapter 1. I may read a little bit. But what I really want to... Uh, just, I'll just kind of break it down for you for the sake of time because we've got some other stuff we're going to do. Ruth gets married and she moves away with her husband. Right? She gets married. She moves away. Uh, a little while later, her father-in-law dies. Now it's her, her, her mother-in-law, her father-in-law, her, her sister-in-law, and her brother-in-law. So the, 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 her father-in-law dies, so her mother-in-law is left widow. She has her two sons and their daughters, correct? Yeah. About 10 years later, her brother-in-law dies and her husband dies. Oh. Starting, to get, starting to seem like, uh, where's God? Write this down. Don't let your past tell you what you can't do. Or where you'll never go in life. I don't care what. Look, don't let your past. Don't even let your present tell you what you cannot do. And don't let it tell you where you cannot go. If God be for you, who can be against you? Amen. 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 So don't let your past. I don't care how bad your past has been. I don't care how bad your past. Uh, 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 how, how bad the enemy reminds you of your past, uh, reminds you of your reputation, reminds you of no, 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 tell your neighbor, no, 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 no. <laughs> All right. <coughs> now say this: God can still display His glory. God can still display His glory. Tell your neighbor, despite your past, despite your past. God can still display His glory. God Let's go to John real quick. John chapter 12. Uh, I'm getting excited and getting ahead of myself. So I'm trying to calm down. John chapter 12, verse 27. Jesus said this, and, and, and many of us can relate. <clears throat> now my soul is troubled. And what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. But for this cause I came into this hour. Father, glorify thy name. Come on. Let me read this to you in the message because in the message it breaks it down for us a little bit better. And he said right, and right here, you're going to be able to read John 12, 27 and 28. He said right here, uh, right now I am storm tossed. Any of you maybe feel that way, tossed by the storm? Seems like a storm don't want to quit. It seems like you, 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 you get over one thing just to meet something else, head, head on. And he said, Jesus said, right, look what Jesus said. Jesus said, my soul is troubled. He said, right now I am storm tossed. But he's about to tell us exactly how to get out of our storm. He's, exactly to, he's, he's about to tell us what not to say, what we have all said to this point today. Are you ready? What am I going to say? Father, get me out of this? No! Oh, that quiet. Come on. Come on. Amen. How many of us have all, in every situation we've entered, 
Lord, deliver me from this. Get me out of this. Get me out of this. This is too much. Lord, give me. No, no. And how many know it's not too much? Because if it was too much, you would be going through it. Amen. So, 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 look, so Jesus said, I'm storm tossed. And right now, my soul is troubled. He said, and what am I going to say right now, Lord? 